Now there's a stack of different types of micro cement. I use this product called Pastelone. Probably saying that wrong, there's probably an Italian man screaming at the computer screen right now. Pastelone, I think that's, I think that's what it's called. It's made by Stucco Italiano, all very Italian sounding. Um, Tony from the Venetian Plaster Gallery in Sydney has been assisting me massively with this. But basically, this is a really quick rundown of what we did. The floor has all been screeded, then the waterproofing has gone on. After the waterproofing, that is where this micro cement process comes into play. So on top of the waterproofing, we need to prime it because the, the micro cement's gonna struggle to adhere to the waterproofing, so we need to prime it all. We primed it with a quartz primer. It's just a water-based primer that you roll on. Give that 24 hours, then you are ready to apply your first coat of, uh, of micro cement. It has a little bit of a technique to it, but the idea is you put one coat on all the walls, leave it, come back the next day, and then you put another coat on the walls. Now on day two, it's called a wet on wet coat. You put one coat on, let it dry to about 80%, then you put the next coat on. And because you've got the, the first coat on it that's semi-wet still, as you press it in with the trowel, it really binds together and that gives you that really smooth surface. So you continue to work that across all your walls, keeping in mind that you wanna keep a wet edge. What that means is you don't wanna let any line dry. If you let a line dry, and then you come back to it and set up to it, you may see it in the end product and that's not what you want. So you have to work fairly quickly. Um, I was definitely under the pump with it. One day the sun was coming through the window and I had to get Louis to come and give me a hand just to, just to burnish it. So after you've got your wet on wet coat on, on day two of the micro cement, that is when you wanna come back an hour or two later, get yourself a little spray bottle Spray the surface, get your trowel, and you want to burnish it. Now this burnishing process is what closes up all the pores on the micro cement. This turns it from looking like a sandy cement render type finish to like a buttery, smooth, glass feeling product. There's all different levels to this. You can just close it up, move on. But I really worked the hell out of it. I made it like, if you look down it, it's, it's, it's almost got a shine to it. And that's just because I burnished it a lot. Now, this, this burnishing process also leaves marks on the product. Some people like that. Some people don't like that. I really do like that. I feel like it gives the wall a nice, natural, like handmade appearance, which is what I want. I don't want it to just be this white wall. I want it to have some movement to it. So... So the burnishing is really what gives it the character. Now this is the type of trowel. This is the type of trowel you want to use. It's not a normal trowel. As you can see, it sort of goes in at the top and it also has this curved edge here. It's quite hard. It doesn't have a lot of flex to it. And using this hard steel trowel is really what allows you to push the product in and burnish it, close it up, and essentially make it like watertight. So if you wanna do this, you gotta pick yourself up with one of these trowels. All right, so then once all your micro cement is on, then you would proceed to do the floor. Now the floor was a little bit more difficult because we were going from concrete onto a lightweight construction like a timber floor. We pulled the timber up, put down FC sheeting, bandaged that joint, and put this liquid membrane down. Now, if you're just going over just a concrete floor, there's no need to do this step. However, because I was going from concrete to timber, there's a good chance there's gonna be a lot of movement there. So I needed this liquid membrane. You probably won't. After a couple of coats of this liquid membrane, then you need to prime the floors. After that, then you need to do your, your first base coat of micro cement, lay in a mesh, 
and then put your second coat of micro cement over that. So your floor looks like this. You've got your concrete or your FC sheeting. So you've maybe got a cement screed just to smooth out your concrete slab. Then you have your liquid membrane. On top of that, we used an X-Bond primer. On top of that, micro cement with mesh, another layer of micro cement, and then your final two wet on wet coats of micro cement, which gives you your finished floor. Yeah, it's, it's quite the process. So where it stands, I've currently got all my walls and my floor finished in my bathroom. Um, I'm onto the vanity. I need to get the plumber back to fit off. Sparky needs to come back to do down lights, fans, all of that gear. I need to get a glazier for the glass. And that's pretty much it. Now, once you finish off your micro cement and you're happy with the look of it, that's when you want to seal it. Um, if you're using this stuff in a shower recess, you're really going to want to use a good quality sealer. I'm using two coats of a water-based sealer on every single surface in the bathroom. And then in the shower, I'm also going to be using a solvent-based sealer. I am yet to apply this, so I'm unsure of how it's going to come up, to be honest. But um, I've, I've currently got the water-based sealer on, and it's, and it's looking good. I'm currently in the middle of building the vanity from scratch and yeah, it's looking good. It's starting to take shape. It generally goes for about 350 a square meter, which for a bathroom of my size, you'd be looking at over $12,000 alone, which would then push our bathroom build up to closer to 20 to 22,000. So it's not a cheap finish. The fact that I'm doing it all myself is gonna save loads of cash. And you know, it's just another skill that I can use in my carpentry business. So, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.